mind that. I actually encourage that. Uh, Bengals hosting the Eagles. Last week, the Eagles dispatched of the Giants and the Bengals uh, got past the Browns. Here are the ranks this season. Greg talked about it earlier in the show. Philadelphia defense, sneaky good all of a sudden, maybe. Cincy now three yeah. and four. Nick, is this a must win for Cincy? For me, since I told you Cincinnati, when you threw them away at one and four, yeah. that they were going to be five and four going into the Baltimore rematch. For me, yes, it is a must win. For them, no, it is not. Because they, there are going to be three AFC North playoff teams. That final AFC playoff spot it might go to an eight win team at this point, certainly a nine win team. And Cincinnati can lose this game and be fun. So, I, I want them to win because I want to see what I predicted would happen come true, but I don't think they have to. Okay. I think that they, they, they've got the Raiders the next week, and we know they can play toe-to-toe -to -toe with Baltimore, who they have the week after. So, okay. yeah. So, I say no. It's not a must-win for Cincinnati. Okay. Is it, is it, this is, is it great? Yeah. great? Would you like me to go, Boo? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> this is another double must <sighs> <laughs> Bruce Maddie uh, what, what's going on? <laughs> this is a double must win. When you look at what the Eagles have done, well, they, they're on a two-game winning streak. He but you know what you everybody's going to say? Go everybody's going to say, well, they, they beat the Giants, oh, and, the and they beat the Browns, and they were coming <laughs> off a bye. Well, they're building their, they t their team chemistry. You're getting healthy. And now you have your coach on the sideline asking the player, should you go? You want to break the record? The player's like, no. <laughs> so everybody's communicating now. So no more trouble in Philly. And then on the other side, you got Cincinnati. Well, you haven't beaten anybody, Cincy. Look at who you've beaten. You've beaten Carolina, the Giants, and the Browns. I mean, you got to get. the Giants and the Browns the two teams Philly just beat that fits their season? <laughs> Hold on. Let me finish. <laughs> you got to get some type of an, of an impressive win. A, 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 a win against a team who has a winning record. Let me say that. If you do that, then okay. Okay. There is an opening. Did you notice that after the last segment, Greg went and got some more coffee or whatever's in that mug? What are you saying? He must have taken a peek <laughs> at my sheet because I got it right here. And I'm I, because it's amazing. What did I say earlier? The double must win is once a month, maybe once every two months. And here we go exactly. with a second double must win in the same day. The rare, I mean, it, it, it's rare, but not today. So, I I, why. Greg, he is right. It's Cincinnati, rare to you, not it, to me. No, it it is, is the now? rare double must win. For Philadelphia, I know the funk's over. I declared it so. I decreed oh it God. so a week ago. Okay. Okay. You did it after week one. All right, week but one I've been right. Whatever, whatever I did, I've been right. But everyone else doesn't know that. They still think the funk is going Then on. what's the point of the decree? Well, people are coming. If they beat Cincinnati, everyone, even Nick, will have to admit. Okay. Yes. The funk is over. Yeah. The funk is over. Uh -huh. Get the funk out what of about face. Cincinnati? It's over. Correct. That's what he'll say. Cincinnati, look, here, here's, what, here's, here's what Greg did <laughs> drive home. Go, go, tell me. They struggled against the tomato cans they beat. Carolina was a good game. That's true. It was in the balance. The Giants, here's the difference. Philadelphia walloped the Giants. Could have went 40 on them yeah. if Saquon had one to cast. be selfish. All right. The, the, the Bengals, 17-7 and a, a nail biter. And then Cleveland, I mean, that was a, a, a tough game. They fortunate they got a kickoff return to start the game. Eagles dominate Eagles Cleveland. struggled against okay. them, too. That's why it's a double must win. The rarest of the rare circumstances. Okay, we have one more left here. Okay, so I want to. It's like it. okay. Listen. Okay, this is an interesting one for a few different reasons. Um, I do not think this is a must win, but I also think it's a must win at the same time. But I think more importantly, it is a must play great for the Philadelphia Eagles. It's a must win for Cincinnati. But for the Eagles, which is what this video is going to be more focused on, is what do the Eagles need? First off, for those of you who don't know, Nick Wright, I don't know if he said it in this clip or not, but he's absolutely said that he believes that the Bengals are going to win this game, right? He was like, I think the Bengals are going to beat the Eagles. Right? He, he was very clear about that in this, uh, in this episode. 
so I'll, I'll probably put that in the title. But um, and I don't want people coming at me and being like, he didn't say that he didn't say that because he did. And he may have not said it in this segment. Uh, I forget, honestly, even though I literally just watched it because he absolutely said earlier in the show that, that the Cincinnati Bengals are going to beat the uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. But I'll say this. Um, this is a must play great for the Philadelphia Eagles more than anything. They can lose this game, but it can't be because both teams are playing bad. The Eagles are just playing ugly, right? They can't lose by a lot. They lose by a decent amount. That would be troubling for the Philadelphia Eagles. And it can't be a, a weird, uglier game. Uh, even though the the, 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 the you, when you look at the numbers for the Browns uh, versus Eagles, the Browns actually, the, the Eagles actually did dominate. When you look at all the stats, all of the, you know, uh, yards, uh, you know, rushing yards, passing yards, uh, you know, conversion, third down conversions, like everything, the Eagles were clearly dominating the box score relative to what the actual score said. Um, but you can't have a game like that either, quite frankly. This needs to be a way more convincing game where if it's close and you lose, it better be in the same context how the Bengals lost to the Ravens. How... um the Bengals lost to the Chiefs because that's the thing. The Cincinnati Bengals are not this scrub trash team. I know they've struggled. I know they had their growing pains and had got off to a slow start. But the reality is, is they could have beat the Chiefs if they didn't have that final possession where they got a pass interference, right? They could have beaten the Ravens if it wasn't for a fumbled snap field goal attempt. Right, so that the Bengals could have beaten the Ravens and could have beaten the Chiefs, and I'm not getting lost in the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, but that's real. So the, this idea that the Bengals are like not this good team or you know a walk in the park, it's not. It's not true. If they almost beat the the Chiefs and almost beat the Ravens, well then that means the Bengals are probably a pretty good team, albeit an inconsistent and flawed team. So if they have a game like that versus the Eagles and the Eagles are playing and it just so happens that this time they don't fumble the snap or they don't get the pass and interference, you're not going to be like, I told you the Eagles are awful. They're trash. That's what it is, right? Like you can't go that extreme either. But with the Eagles regaining momentum, pretty much, and myself included, selling the argument that, hey, the Eagles are actually probably a pretty good team. They just have injuries right now, right? They just... They have a very unfortunate, you know, uh, list of key injuries right now, uh, you know, and, and combine that with a drop pass. And it's like, you know, things kind of looked a little bit messier than what they really are, right? Like I defended the loss against the Falcons. I defended the loss against the Bucks. explained the win versus the Browns and, and discussed the win about the Giants. So you don't want to undo that, right? If if the Eagles come out there and their offense looks sluggish and slow and Jalen Hurts turns the ball over two times and A.J. Brown, you know, has 80 yards and, and one touchdown and the Eagles lose 21 to 10, right? That's that's a bad loss. But if they lose 28 to, to 25 or whatever, you know, whatever the heck it is, I'm not good at making up scores, honestly. Uh, you know, whatever it may be. And, and it was a good game and Jalen Hurts took care of the ball and he went... Uh, you know, 20 for 25, 220 yards, and AJ's got, you know, a touchdown, and Saquon's got a touchdown, right? And it was just a, a really good game, but hey, the Bengals pulled it out. That would still be encouraging. That would show you, hey, no, the Eagles are a good team. They they they, they rectified some of these issues. It was an issue of health. Let, you know, th things are going well. You can't expect to win every single game, of course. So to me, that's what it is. It's a must-play good game, must-play great game for the Eagles. Anything less than that, you would be like, all right, well, they beat the Giants, they beat the Browns, and they beat the Packers week one. Congratulations, right? Um, and I know they beat the Saints, but the Saints have obviously fallen off, although I would argue that the Eagles beat the Saints before they completely fell off, obviously, as Derek Carr is not even the quarterback right now for them. So, yeah. Um, so just to be clear, really, anything but a convincing win from the Cincinnati Bengals would be troubling for the Eagles. Um, or if the Eagles, you know, of course, just lay an egg or just appear to be outmatched. But this is going to be a, a, a good game, an East, a, a, a barometer game. And again, slightly difficult to understand because we've seen the Bengals struggle or not do well against teams that we know are not that good, but then literally are a play away from beating the Chiefs and a play away 
from beating the ba- the Ravens. They had multiple chances to beat the Ravens, uh, honestly. And it took like some heroics from Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry to win that game. So again, make no mistake about it, the Bengals could actually be a top team in the NFL. But that's just where football is so crazy. A couple plays go, you, you know, the opposite way. They're on the wrong side of the football gods. And it's like they might not make the playoffs now. And everyone's like, oh, Joe Burrow and the Bengals are trash. And it's like, it's, you know, Joe Burrow has been a top quarterback in the NFL this whole season. He's been a top quarterback. Uh, PFF has him ranked like top two or three or sometimes top one. Um, so again, this, this is, this is, this is a a sneaky, difficult game and the Eagles are on the road. So that's why I'm not going to put it for a must win for the Eagles. And again, Cincinnati, they're more in the must win because kind of similar to the Eagles, like they they burned their easy losses. They, they, they lost, they lost the benefit of the doubt for that, right? Because of how their season unfortunately for them started not unlike how the eagles had but some of that's not their fault some of that is some of it's their fault because of a drop pass or if you want to argue it was a bad play call it doesn't matter we've already discussed that um or you can make the argument that the injuries are really what did them in more than anything so this will be an interesting barometer game quite honestly I, i really think so because i think actually if the eagles beat the Bengals, that would actually be a very good convincing win and like Bruce said, Nick Wright would be forced to say, okay, the Eagles are actually better than I believe them to be. And it would confirm what Greg Jennings said, because Greg said he thinks that the Philadelphia Eagles are going to beat the Bengals. And he was very confident about that and, and talked all about it. So, um, yeah, interesting game ahead for sure. But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? about the Philadelphia Eagles. Do you think it's a must win versus the Bengals? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. Let's see you next time.